Years ago, we started this church. We were meeting in Lenape High School, and while we were there, uh, we had bought this property, and uh, we, were, we were in the auditorium, which wasn't probably smart, but we were meeting in the auditorium, 550 or 600 people, and we had our 80 or 100 people rattling around in there like marbles in a soda can, and I invited the, the president of our mission. I was a church planner under a mission. My immediate director had died, and so I was reporting to the president. And the president of the mission came, wonderful man, great man of God. He came, and it was one of those Sundays that was disasterville. <laughs> and he kept, trying, he kept trying to connect with us. And he would say stuff like, uh, oh, I saw your property, and it must be exciting to be thinking about building and everything. And we're all like, building? We don't have any money. We, uh, I know I was, and so nobody's really responding. He's not getting it. The music was terrible. The, 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 the sound was terrible. Everything was terrible. The whole day was terrible. And two days later, I got a phone call from my home church pastor, who had had a call from the president. And my home church pastor, who is a great friend to this day, on that particular day, didn't, wasn't my best friend. Uh, in the way, I mean, he didn't, he didn't do this intentionally. But he called me and he said, uh, he told me about a conversation he had. He said, Mark, he said, I heard you had president, you know, the president there, Dr. So-and-so, and I said, recently I said, yeah, we had him there Sunday. And, uh, he said, well, yesterday he called me. And I said, oh. He said, yeah, Mark, um, you, need to, you need to call him and tell him about all the great things that are going on there. And I felt like saying, yeah, what would those be exactly? And I said, why? Why do I need to do that? And he said, well, he called me yesterday, and uh, he's worried the church isn't going to make it. Now, that bothered me because I was worried the church wasn't going to make it. And I remember walking through my neighborhood streets in Mount Lor of Marlton, crying, crying out to God, God, I don't have it. <laughs> How are we going to do this? He's right. We don't have, there's no energy, there's no momentum. There's, I don't see, I, I don't know how we're going to do this thing. Maybe I'm, in, maybe I'm the wrong guy. There have been times in, in my ministry, there's been at least three. Some of you are 5 o'clock a.m. people, you know, 5 o'clock you're out, exercise. I don't understand people like you, but <laughs> I'm not a 5 a.m. exercise person. So when God told me to do this, this was important. There have been three times in my ministry where God has told me clearly to get in my car seven days a week for as long as he tells me to do it and at 5 a.m. to meet him here at this property and just cry out to him. And every one of those has been a time of desperation. And I met with him. I went, met with him till he told me to stop. One time it was two months. One time it was three months. One time it was three and a half. Did it every day just because. But I can tell you, those have been high and holy times in my life. Times when I've been absolutely stretched beyond when I measure the human potential and I say, nothing. And God says, okay, now watch. Some of you are right there, aren't, they, aren't you? Some of you are right there. And you're saying, you know, even when you started this passage, I was like, give me a break. I'm supposed to be a witness to the world. Quite frankly, Mark, I don't even want to be around people right now. I have nothing. I have no resources, time, money, energy. I'm bankrupt. You are right where God is speaking. Your weakness is not grounds for you to say, as we are all prone to do, to, wa to, to wallow in the mire of despondency and hopelessness, and maybe it moves to self-pity, maybe it morphs to envy, maybe it morphs to blame shifting, or just as a, a slow burn anger but it is also an opportunity to say, God, here I am in my weakness. I don't know where it's going. I don't know how it can move. But you have said that it is in our weakness that you glorify your power. 
So God, I don't want to despair. I don't want to give way to anger. I don't want to quit, although I do want to quit, but I don't want to quit. God, be God in my life. See, 